Namaste and welcome to the October message from our Cosmic Brethren. Oh. Let's take a moment together and breathe into our heart centers in order to enhance our receptivity, our own divine filter, to be able to receive the nourishment that is ours to enjoy. Yeah. Each and every day is an opportunity. Each and every breath is an opportunity. Breathe consciously now. So. So. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to relax into the trust that is your birthright. Relaxing into your sacred. Beloved ones, beloved angels, beloved divine brethren, beloved cosmic travelers, beloved journeyers, beloved ones who are aware of the approaching, ongoing, and ever infinite ascension. Yes, we offer to thee today a discussion about ascension because it is being discussed, it is being reviewed, it is being watched, it is being measured, it is being scientifically manipulated, or at least the attempts are there, and it is being, let us say, becoming more aware through more beings. What is this word? What is this energy? For indeed, ascension is an energy. In a world of density, in a world where there are many who seek to teach through story, because oftentimes, through the mythological background of the story, a human densified mind that has yet to remember its divine counsel within will discover a greater depth of understanding through a story. Stories are safe, stories reveal, stories assist, and there are many stories or myths on your planet now that have also been constructed and written to either awaken or to continue dampen DNA of the crystalline awakened nature. You see, beloved ones, there are myths or parables or stories or prophecies or whatever word or label you seek to place on them. There are many of these that have been inserted or injected into the millennial stream of belief to be able to dampen the fields within the carbon experience that would, let us just say, prevent a light of crystalline ignition to be seen. A diamond emerges through millions, millennia of carbon pressure. Your crystalline DNA emerges in a similar way. And when beliefs that are intentionally injected into the thought streams of a biological organism that is continually evolving, then those beliefs permeate into the organism regardless of the inhabiting soul wisdom and thereby become ever more refined in their ability to hide, disguise, manipulate. Hide, disguise, and manipulate. Now, beloved angels, of course, along with the injection of the stories that are there to dampen this field, there are also those that are there to awaken the field, to invite the light, which may beg the question, if it was a stream of manipulation to insert the stories of belief, would it not be a stream of manipulation to insert stories of awakening? And the answer is, if seen from the mind of density, absolutely. If seen from the witness of the cosmic expansion, it is simply a yin and yang energy. It is simply a balancing force. All forces of your world have their balance. Light, dark, up, down, left, right. You see the 
this process, day, night, sun, moon, it is eternal. And so therefore, if an energy of intention to dampen the field of one from awakening or connecting is inserted, and the opposite energy is placed alongside it, in your world experience, this is considered balance. However, you are eternally surrounded by the balance. You are eternally surrounded by the left, the right, the up, the down, the north, the south, the east, the west, the polars. These are your recognitions in this world now. So what does this mean for ascension? Perhaps a prevalent or currently known and widely understood ascension story is about the one you call Jesus, Yeshua, the ascended master in form through the story that died on the cross and then three days later magically, mysteriously arose in form, in body, to be of the highest ascended energy. And as this being was arisen, this became the belief structure that ascension is of the entire form, that ascension is only for those of a certain level of mastery, that ascension comes only through pain or through a destructive force attempting to stop light. We invite you to listen, perhaps, to some expanded knowing regarding this. Perhaps when the tomb was uncovered, for those who believe in this tomb, perhaps the body had simply moved and was no longer necessary and thereby had dissolved. Perhaps when we take something and put it in water, have you watched it dissolve? An ice cube dissolves. Many things that are considered fixed, often perhaps a thin sheet of paper when placed in water, dissolves, disintegrate. There are many different herbs that disintegrate. Perhaps if there is, let us say, not ever a strongly held belief in form that when the animating energy of the form releases, the form also disintegrates, does it not? The form dissolves. There is no need to continue having form, and so the form dissolves. Allowing form to dissolve also allows for one to dissolve the myth that ascension is only through the physical form in terror, total, all, going at once. Yet there is a belief structure that has inserted this and many model their liberated spiritual beliefs after the physical form experience. Free your mind now dissolve your hands now. We offer the energy from our eyes through to your eyes to invite the dissolving. For when one allows the dissolving to occur, one frees themselves from any influence of all beliefs and myth structures that would prevent the ignition of the crystalline light. We continue. And as one looks at this word ascension, we remind thee that you, thee, I, whatever form of recognition you accept, has, is, and will infinitely be in this process. This is why this is a concept of truth. Because you are light, you are crystalline light, you are ever ascending, you are ever expanding, you are ever igniting. And as this process continues for thee, remember this, beloved ones, that while you dance in the world of form, 
while you feel less than fluid light at all times, then you are in the process of self-ascension. The process of self-ascension is to dance with form in an awakened state of consciousness that allows thee to have the broader perspective, thereby the full, expansive, infinite, joy-filled, light-filled, crystalline experience of form. This certainly does not exceed the recognition that all will be in balance, day, night, happy, sad. For as long as form exists, the experience of form continues. And as long as the self-ascended process is recognized and awakened, then all is seen from the experience of the wisdom of the journey and it is a visual blessing, a gift, to be witnessing at all times the, as they would say, bigger picture of this divinity, of this experience, of the vast oneness that is ever ascending, and of the vast allness that is ever expanding. Allness expands laterally in a world of density. Oneness ascends around this lateral expansion. And it is when one steps in the center that the two converge as if atoms are exploding and the vast multitude of dimensional space that you are opens again and you are able to witness multitudes of expressions at once while recognizing the sacred core that is holding thee. Will you ascend? Can you ascend? Of course. Are you ascending? Of course. However, the greater question is, are you expanding with allness? Or have you entered the spiral of the ascended oneness? Both are beautiful and both exist simultaneously. To wipe the belief systems that have been genetically installed is to freshen your life, freshen your experience, and gain the gift of clarity. It is only through the gift of clarity that your dreams, visions, notes, aspirations will manifest in the way that you choose. For in the self ascended state, it is the blessing that you have called forward through the gift of walking forward. And so it is, beloved angels. You ask who we are? We offer this to you. We are the crystalline brethren of light that have come through the galactic federation that is currently holding great space around this particular planet with great and careful eyes in multi-dimensional realms. You are protected, you are supported, you are loved. And you must call out to us and when you do, we are infinitely here. And so it is. Blessings to you all. We look forward to renewing our connection each and every month. Namaste.